Hello dear students, uh, in the last class I gave you unweighted weighted types of index numbers. Today we will see only unweighted index numbers, how to calculate unweighted. Unweighted is two types, the two types we are going to calculate, we will finish it up today, unweighted index numbers. Only one problem I am taking which will give you much clarity and after this session please take your test book and work out one or two problems. Of course, you do this problem also without looking at the solution, then also take test book and work out any problem. So, it will have more clarity. So, unweighted, uh, weight, unweighted index numbers, we have two types. The Both the two types are asking here, compute simple aggregative method. First one is simple aggregative, aggregative method. Second one is average of price relative method. Simple aggregative average of price relative method. Simple aggregative method we have only one formula that is P 0.1. We indicate it as P 0.1 means it is unweighted index number. In unweighted index number first one is simple aggregative method. Simple aggregative method formula is P 0.1 is equal to sigma P 1 by sigma P 0 into 100 sigma p1 by sigma p0 into 100 p means price p1 p0 p0 means base price first price p1 is second price are you getting it base price p0 second price is p1 like the formula is sigma p1 by p0 sigma p0 into 100 simple formula so this is in simple aggregative method then coming to the second one, average of price relative method. So, B, the B is this average price relative method we can calculate in two ways. One is through the index numbers, second one is by using logarithms. If you use index numbers, this is the formula without using the logs, no logarithms. Simple index number, this is the formula for the average of price relative method. What is the formula? P 0 0.1 is equal to sigma P 1 by P 0 into 100. This whole we are taking sigma P 1 by P 0 into 100 divided by n. P 1 by P 0 into 100 already we know it. The same thing we are keeping on the upper part downside is here divided by n. That is all. Simple easy to remember. So, this is one way to calculate through the index numbers. Second method is through the anti logs, through the logs by using the logarithms. What is the formula? P 0.1 is equal to anti log of sigma log P by n. Anti log of you can remember it sigma log P by n. Sigma log P by n. What is this log P? Log P, P means here P1 by P0 into 100. P1 by P0 into 100. Same one. Same one we are taking P1 by P0 into 100. So, this is divided by n, but before that we are having anti log, anti log, that is all. Easy to remember these formulas, the first one is here P1 by P0 into 100. For the second method, by using index numbers P1 by P0 into 100 divided by n, same one but divided by n, that is all. And third one, by using logarithms, anti log of sigma log P by n, log P means same one. P1 by P0 into 100. So, I am taking a simple problem so that you will have more clarity. The problem is given to us up to here only. This is the problem given commodity 2010 price, 2011 price. P means price. So, commodity 10 and 11 prices are given. We have to calculate both the methods simple aggregative method and average of price relative method. For this what is needed is first of all we have to identify what is P0, what is P1. The base one 2010 10 is I am taking it as a P0 and next price is P1. First year price is always P0 only, second price will be P1. So that you have to remember then after that calculate means total of this P0 if I total up I got 380. Then if I total up P1, I got 450. Now what is needed if you see the formula, first one to calculate P.01, 
P1 by P0 into 100. P1, sigma P1, sigma P1 means this total. Okay, P0, this total, 380 into 100. So I have done here easily. So P0.1 is equal to sigma P1 by sigma P0 into 100. This formula, I kept it here. As per the formula, sigma P1 is 450. I have written 450. Next one, P0 is 380. 380 is here into 100. So you got 111.42. First part is over. Now coming to the second part. Second part is here. We have two formulas. One is by using uh, by using index numbers, by using logarithms. Both the ways we'll do it. Okay. So to calculate as per the index numbers, what is needed? P1 by P0 into 100. We want that sigma 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 of p1 by p0 into 100 divided by n so p1 by p0 into 100 will calculate it directly now so this is p p we are calculating how do we get p1 by p0 into 100 that we are calculating p1 is here 55 55 divided by 45 into 100 you got 122 are you getting it 55 by 45 into 100 you got in the same as 70 by 60 into 100 116.67 30 divided by 20 into 100 150 like you got p values p means nothing but p1 by p0 into 100 this i have totaled so i got 753.10 as per the second second formula what is we what do we need sigma p1 by p0 into 100 by n so i have written here formula is Sigma P1 by P0 into 100. P1 by P0 total is 753.10. It's written. N means number of observations. 6. So you got the answer of 125.53. This is by using index numbers. Next we'll go for logarithms. For logarithms what do we need? You see up to here it is over. For logarithms what we need? Antilog of sigma log P. P is this one, P is this one. For this we have to take log, log P. So how do we take log P? We'll see logarithms, you know how to see, I, already I taught you geometric mean. In geometric mean I have taught you already how to see the geometric mean. So for this geomet ge uh, logs we are going to take. 2, 2. If you take, you'll be getting, 2 always you'll be getting because this number is 3. 3 means 3 minus 1, 2. All the numbers are 3 only. 3 minus 1, 2. 2, 2 point, 2 point, 2 point will put first. Then if you go for logs, 12, 2. You will get this much. So like we have seen the logarithms, total up, you got 12.5652. Now let's go for the calculation. First I have written the formula. This is as per the logarithms. P0.1 is equal to antilog of sigma log P by n. Antilog of log P is this, we got it already. So kept it over there, substituted. So that divided by n, n is number of observations. If you divide it, you will be getting 2.0942. This you are getting. Antilog we have to see for this. Antilog of 2.0942. So if you see 94.2, you will get 124.3 so here this is 2 2 means from left after 3 numbers we will put point 2 means after 3 numbers we will put point so we got 124.3 if you compare it through index numbers we got the answer of 125.52 through logarithms 124.3 exactly it will not match it will not match exactly. So there is a small difference. Small difference that is 125, 124. Only one or two difference will be there. It doesn't matter. But you can go for either by using index numbers this formula or logarithms. If you are perfect, if you are able to manage logs, then you can go for this. So this is weighted average method. We have two kinds of weighted average method. Both we have done. In the coming class, we'll go for uh, unweighted. So these are un unweighted. Next class, we'll go for weighted average method. 
there are seven types and also some other index numbers that also will do it please remember uh, the more you practice you will remember you can get you are addict you will be uh, accustomed to work out the problems so that is why you need to practice more times hope my talk is good and easy to understand uh, remember and one more thing problem I have already solved to save the time by taking calculator and calculating and uh, it will waste your time that's the reason I have already done the problem explaining you directly so remember the formulas one side you write daily morning you just go through it it will be easy for you go to the description box there are different subjects different topics which may be useful for you or please forward to someone who was struggling to learn the subject just be in touch wish you good luck take care